Hi, this is the Provoke Prawn, and this is the V-Moder Crossfade 2 Wireless. Actually, these are uh, Bluetooth headphones, wireless, which you'll see in future in a minute because I'm actually wired at the moment. And um, they can be turned into a proper headset with the use of a Boom Mic Pro, which you can get separately. Uh, that Boom Mic plugs in underneath here as a 3.5mm connection, then plugs into your PC. You then get a little remote control on here where you can mute the microphone and adjust the volume. Simply, uh, these are very expensive. You're looking at about £280 for these headphones. Uh, they've got a pretty funky design to them, and the build quality is pretty superb. You'll see... Very strong metal frame, very comfortable ear cups in terms of nice leather and uh, although it's plastic on top it's still very comfortable. The only issues I found, and these are like award winning headphones, so you know a lot of people have given these high quality reviews and said that they're great, so I was expecting great things from these and honestly I can't recommend them. Um, not a I haven't fully tested them as headphones, so I can't say whether they're good in terms of being blue, excellent Bluetooth headphones or not. I can't tell you about battery life. I literally been testing them as an alternative to a gaming headset because it's worth trying a new, you know, a pair of headphones as a headset because that gives you the option to use them outside, you know, and something like this. If they're Bluetooth without the wires, you can you know, use them on the train when you're on the way to work or use them when you're going out wherever. They, you know, they're very, they've got that subtlety to them. These are white, you can also get them in other colours. Um, black as well, I believe, as a subtle option. There's also interesting that you can change the shields, so the sides here is adjustable. You can change these, you can swap them out and make them sort of custom, so there's that appeal. But the thing I found out straight away with these head headphones is the ear cups are just too small. I don't, you, it'd probably be difficult to see from the video, but the size of the ear cups versus my ear <laughs> just a bit difficult to visualize probably it's just i found it was like my ear feels like squashed in there now with a lot of the other headsets that i've been testing um during the day i've been wearing them all day long listening to music and then playing games them at night and i literally couldn't even make it through a whole day wearing these and it's not because the battery was low or because they got too hot because you know the leather ear cups you do get a bit hot with them after a while but i've had a lot of experience with different leather headsets and not had a problem but it's because they just felt like they were squashing my ears constantly. I felt like it was being crushed. And by the end of the day, my ears felt like they were being really squashed. And I've not, not got exceptionally big ears or anything. I just felt like they were really uncomfortable. Also, the mic quality isn't amazing. Um, you know, it's a, a pro microphone, boom microphone. It plugs in nice and easily um, and then gives you that wire, which is a pretty good long braided wire. It's got plenty of good connectors in it. So... Um, a splitter for connecting into your PC so that's nice and easy. It's just easy in terms of adaption, but obviously changing a wireless Bluetooth headset into a wired one and there's no charge from this so if it runs out of power you need to charge it up um, if you want to use it for the Bluetooth side of things so that's a downside um, but yeah super, super expensive headphones like Honestly, I wouldn't even recommend as headphones, never mind as a headset. Although it might be considered as an alternative. The cups are just too small. There's got to be better options. It has to be. Um, and it's a real shame. And I feel a bit odd saying it because like, there's all these other reviews out there saying that it's really good. But I just don't rate them. I don't rate them. And obviously, they're only stereo as well. So if you're looking for a surround sound headset, this is not an option. Uh, the Vimo Crossfade 2 wireless is not an option for you because it's a stereo stereo headphones essentially um there's no noise cancelling 14 hours of battery life um, various adapters has a micro usb for charging uh, they fold up neatly into a little carrying case you know uh, you know on the outside just looking at the specifications and the design and the build quality you know a good build quality they're obviously well built as you know, buttons on the side for turning the Bluetooth on and off and connections and various things in it. You know, they seem good when you get them out of the package, but just 
just can't. They're even uncomfortable now just doing for this short review. I'll just put them on for five minutes to do a review video and I'm like, I'll get them off again. So that's it. <laughs> V-Mode, Crossfade 2, Wireless, Nope. Don't bother using that as a gaming headset. I wouldn't even consider it as headphones option, if I'm honest, which is a shame. And it's crazy to say that about a really expensive piece of kit like that because you think it'd be excellent, but it really isn't. That's it.